Hello guys, my name is Leonardo and in this video I'm doing an analyze of one of the movies that I can recommend us that his name is Hair. Well, this video is divided in five parts. Part 1 conflict, part 2 structure, part 3 topic, part 4 characters, part 5 dialogues and scenes and obviously I analyze some questions that is important to understand the movie. So, I start with the first part, that is part of conflict, and I respond some questions. The first question is, what is the goal the main character aims? The goal of the main character is not to feel so lonely and stop having a sad life. The second question is, what is the most important problem the main character has to face and deal with? The most important problem is his divorce proceeding with his ex-partner and he tries to deal with it by having a relationship with an operating system that his name is Samantha. And the last question is, is the main character's conflict internal or external? The main character's conflict is internal because he is not able to solve problems or express emotions with others. So, in this second part, I'm talking about the structure of the film. And the first question is, what is the main plot? The main plot is deal with how Theodore, after his supposed separation and having a sad and lonely life, throughout a relationship with an operating system tries to find love and happiness. The second question is, does the story have any subplots? What are they about? No, the story has no subplots because it's only focused on the life of the main protagonist. The last question is, the narration of the story is linear or not linear? Does it follow a chronological order? Yes. Continuing as the film shows us, the story is ordered following a chronology of events. In this part 3, I'm talking about the topic of the film, and the questions are What is the story about? The story about a discouraged writer develops a special loving relationship with his computer operating systems, an intuitive and sensitive entity named Samantha. The second question is, what's the main topic? The main topic. The main topic focus on relationships with others and how the characters are not able to create bonds with others. The next question is, what is the backstory? The backstory. The backstory tells us about the ability of technology to isolate us, with the simple fact of not relating to the other face to face, but preferring an operating system, which causes us to isolate ourselves from the real world. And the last question is, does the film cover one or more than one topic? So, the movie only covers one topic which, as already mentioned, is the inability to relate to other people. In this part 4, I'm talking about the characters of the film. And the questions are, how many characters, main and secondary, does the film have? We can consider 5 as main and secondary characters, having Theodore, that is the main protagonist, Samantha, that is an operating system, Catherine, that is the ex-partner of Theodore, Amy and Paul, that are the friends Theodore. The second question is, what is the personality of the main character like? So, um, the personality of Theodore is a lonely man in a big world of people and 
The personality of Samantha is an operating system that is identified by boys with human qualities. The next question is, does the character change along the film? Yes, uh, Theodore changed her personality along the film. So, in the first part of the film, Theodore feels lonely, but when he meets Samantha, he changes and falls in love. After talking with his still wife, the relationship he has with Samantha becomes a bit difficult. So, that in the end of the film, Samantha tells Theodore that she falls in love with someone else and leaves him. And the last question is, who is the antagonist? How does the antagonist oppose to the lending role? I can consider the antagonist could say that it would be Catherine, since she accused Theodore of not knowing how to handle her feelings. So this is the last part. This is the part 5 and I'm talking about dialogues and scene. But in this part it's important to know that is for my personal opinion. And the question is, which was your favorite scene in the film? Was the impact it had for you? So the movie is so amazing and have a lot of wonderful scenes. But my favorite scene in the movie is when Theodore and Catherine meet to sing the divorce. They remember their past, but they fight when Theodore tells Catherine that he falls in love with an operating system. It has a great meaning because it shows that relationship between others no longer exists. The second question is, do the dialogues correspond with the personality of the character? Are the dialogues somehow psychological or reflective about life? Well, and the dialogues do complement each other because they show the thought and personality of each character, their content being reflective about what happens to them. And the last question is, mention three of your favorite dialogues line from the film. Well, and my favorite line from the film is, you know what? At this age, I just feel like I can let you waste my team if you don't have the ability to be serious. This phrase shows how people seek to spend time with someone without assuming any affective responsibility with the other person so they end up leaving. My second favorite line is, but in our house together there was a sense of just trying stuff and allowing each other to fall and to be excited about things that was liberating for her. In this sentence, we can know the importance of being next to people who know that we can make a mistake in something and we will help each other to improve and overcome this difficult. My last favorite line is, I just couldn't do it anymore. I couldn't be in that place anymore where we just made each other feel like shit about ourselves. So, um, in this sentence, we can understand that couple relationships are always going to have arguments even if they are not important. This can make them no longer support each other and end the relationship. So, it is shown that they no longer want to stay together. Well, to end this video analyze, I have to say that I recommend the film because it allows us to see how long lines affect a person and how they do everything possible to overcome it. Thank you so much guys to see this video.